All right. I just, I'm watching Gremlins because I hit random and I'm like, shit, I haven't seen Gremlins in a long time. I also found, figured out it was Gremlins from the first two seconds of video. Because it definitely had an 80s, like Warner Brothers opening. And then I heard, then I saw Chinatown and I'm like, Gremlins. I, Gremlins. Um, and they just said it's a metamorphosis and I thought about the manga metamorphosis. Pasta, baby. Could you link um, a purchasable copy of the manga metamorphosis for everybody? Thanks. It's kind of like a, a trial by fire sort of thing. You have to, you kind of have to. You, you just, you just. How much lower can I make the fire? Yeah, yeah, metamorphosis. No, okay, it's fine. Ta-da, okay. I need more of those, so that's good. Stereo micro phone bar mount. Gator Frameworks. So I have two of those Marantz MPM 3000 mics. Pasta, link to the Marantz MPM 3000 mics that you and I both use. I bought a bunch of them. They dropped on like Woot sale for like 90 bucks. And they're like a $200 mic. They're really nice. Nice, smooth, warm, like I love them. And they look futuristic as fuck. So I want to re record in stereo. So right now they're both just hanging off wires off of a lamp down the basement. And I want to be less piece of shit, so I bought this, which hopefully is far enough apart, which is so you could take two microphones and mount it to one microphone stand. And then I'll be able to ASMR the shit out of you guys. You guys are going to be like wanking it to the sound of my voice. It's going to be fantastic. Comes with the adapters on there. And this is a solid unit. You could probably put one of those adapters in there if you wanted to. And that should be what I, I'm eventually going to have like a finalized downstairs desk. Which when I do, I will be able to... I can't speak in stereo on like any platform though, that's the only thing. I can record in Audacity in stereo, but I can't go in vent or something. Bucket liners, extra heavy duty. So, um, you've all seen my garage, you've seen my car cleaning video. You know I've got that five gallon bucket, bucket head vacuum thing. Well, I'm gonna open that up, because I've only vacuumed like three things, dump that shit out in this thing, and I bought these five gallon bucket liners so that I could use these instead of having to dump the bucket into another thing, I just tie the bag up and be done with it. Hold on, boiling pasta. Oh, by the way, this, not the person, the, the food. These hearty pastas, uh, 12 ounce. 12 ounce fucking box, I'm so angry. If you're in the Z Cooks Cooking Consortium, well, uh, private telegram chat, this was the day I was super fucking angry about the 12 ounce hearty goddamn San Giorgio. Fuck you. Don't sell me 12 ounces of pasta, you assholes. I haven't had to check for that in so long, but I also haven't bought San Giorgio pasta in a while. It's like thick and hearty. I'm like, oh great. This looks like a pretty good price. Not for 12 fucking ounces, you dicks. Because they only make a third of a pound at a time, and now I can't make a third of a pound if you don't give me a pound. Now I gotta make a half of 12 ounces, which is six ounces, which isn't even, oh God, I hate life. Um, so I bought a yoga mat. And this is a different one from the other yoga mats. Trust me, there's gonna be a delivery of a lot of yoga mats very soon. Maybe even today. Uh, because I'm doing up my review space to a new space and I'm going to use yoga mats to cover all the shelves with the speakers on it To cover the wooden fascias and have some for the speakers to lay on so that was um, $300 in yoga mats are coming, but this one was a more expensive nicer yoga mat with a textured top That girl's got a very long torso I'm Not saying you should take this and wank to it, but just saying that's that's nice you can keep that um, so who is this Top Plus? Their brand name is Top Plus Winky Face. Plus. And this is different from my yoga mats. It's got the Wave. So this will be the one that actually goes on my review desk for reviewing. It's, what size are you? Was this one extra large? Does it even have a size on it? I don't remember. But we've got the Wave or we've got this pattern. And I just wanted something different than what I have, like that I've been using all this time. Because I'm gonna be using that giant eight foot wide glass desk, cause fuck it, if I have it and it's eight feet wide, Zeos can do more reviews better. But I wanna put something down. This is bait, like you couldn't use this as a mouse pad. 
it's too sticky for that. Can I just do, do this? I think this is six feet long. Yeah, this is six foot by two foot. And then I stretch this bitch out, and then I could pick whichever side I think looks better on camera. Just to give me something to put equipment down on and not damage it and it darkens up the lens so it doesn't blow out the camera. <sighs> I'm doing the Alton Brown method where you only put enough water in there to just barely cover the pasta. And then just, just keep stirring it on super low until it's done. When there's no more water, it's done. Actually, that means I could use a rice cooker for that. I've got one more box. Let's see what this is. Make this a full fucking video. This is the unboxing where Zeus recommended Metamorphosis for the Crywank. Okay. Ghost Manta, what? Oh Jesus, this got here real fast. This is a computer for, for the TV. Ooh. I was supposed to wait till like the 30th to get this motherfucker. It was going to be a week. All right. Well, I guess this is the episode where Zeos unboxes an entire fucking computer. So instead of building, I bought those two M2 drives. I was going to build a computer for the back of that with a mini micro ITX. So I go, oh, that'll be great. I'll use all sorts of, make content. <sighs> Fuck content right now. I just want my shit to work. I need to get back to work, like actual listening to things. And I want to be able to watch YouTube videos on my television without the YouTube app. What is the smallest mouse pad that has ever been? This is like hilariously minuscule mouse pad. And it's got a crease in it. So instead of building a computer for the back of that, finding a legit copy of Windows, installing it, going through the drivers, and then I just bought a Lenovo Think Center fucking pre-made computer on Amazon. It's, it was like 400 bucks. There's $250 ones, but I need to make sure it could run 4K 60 video. And this is the newest revision. This is the 2020 version. Actually, I actually had uh, Brandon, the guy who's been appearing in several of my other videos. I just shut that off and just gonna let that sit and steam. So he helped me pick this out. He says there's one, you can price these fucking things. What do you see how small it is? It's like a PlayStation 2 Slim, but it's an i5 and they have them with i9s. They have, they have a Ryzen one for like $1,100. And I'm like, eh, I don't need that. But I might end up buying several of these depending on how they work out. And then keeping one like next to where I do speaker reviews. I could put one in for my like traveling home theater and I'll have to use my gaming computer. My gaming computer will still have to be built. The big one, the one that I use for like VR will still have to be built by me. But for just computers around, it's either buy an old laptop like I got a laptop in that room that's a good laptop and I'd rather not have a laptop in there I'd rather bring my computer up here the computer's downstairs because I need to connect to the internet but now I have all the stuff to make networking cables and I got a computer in there which is like my big home theater PC computer but this should beat all of those things and it was 400 bucks and you'll see it in a second this might actually be it is this a keyboard? Lenovo Essential Wireless Keyboard or Mouse Combo. I didn't want this shit. That's why I paid 400 and something dollars and not 300. Okay. Oh, by the way, this is the computer. Did your mind just get fucking blown? All of this shit? This is the computer? What is this then? The power brick? The power brick's gonna be rather, rather large. What, who designed this box? My granddaddy was a die cutter, but that doesn't matter. This is the most uneconomical box of bullshit I've ever seen. So that's actually way smaller than I thought it was. So here, this is essentially a laptop without a screen or a battery. And here's the power brick for it, which is unfortunately incredibly long. How many watts and amps? Let me see, I'm just gonna drop down into my shit. 65 watt. Where the fuck are your status numbers? There you go. 20 volt, three and a quarter amp. Safety, guides, warranties, we've got. Okay, I'm just gonna like make a neat pile on the floor. 
Anything else in here? No. What are you? I love this like lock. It's like, oh, fuck you, bitch. USB-C to HDMI output. Now, if I don't want to break the seal, I could just simply like slice the bottom of this or side. And just, you know, I could always just put some clear tape on that. No one will ever know what I just did. So I don't like breaking those weird seals. Security seal, yeah, okay. So it comes with a Lenovo branded USB-C to HDMI 2.0B adapter. That's probably rare. Here is the Wi-Fi antenna. There were models without Wi-Fi. And uh, I'm making a roast beef, by the way. I'm making a roast beef for lunch. Um, and I brand's like, well, just might as well get one with Wi-Fi. It's not that much more expensive. Uh, it comes, fuck, that power brick comes with a million feet of cord. And then the actual plug is one of these triple sons of bitches. So piles, piles, safety guide, warranty. I may have to actually browse for the setup guide, although it should just be a computer that turns on. I can't believe how small it is. This is incredibly small. I'm gonna have to break this security seal. Yeah, look, look at it tear itself apart. Yeah, I, get, I opened it. What do you want from me? Lenovo, Lenovo found me out. God, that's a good security seal. I mean, look at this, come on. Look, this is, this is a computer. Look, it's not even shiny plastic. It says Windows, Core i5, eighth gen. Does it have a plastic cover? It does, over the power button, just over the power button. Which means it's gonna be shiny plastic. That is the smallest, most annoying plastic cover. Power, um, it says 10 USB, so there's USB, one, two, three, 10, 10, headphone out if I wanted it. We've got the power in, we've got display port out, another USB, a USB-C that shows a monitor, and then another USB, and then networking port, and then a Kensington lock, and then an antenna. This is, this is it, this is, this is the, this is the future. I will gladly pay $400, because you can't build this. Like I could build a mini ITX build, but if I just needed to play video, you know, you could, you could take your NUX and everything. This is just a Windows 10 machine. I'll plug this in here, because I don't have a, I could get a display port to HDMI, which will make this easier, or I could do that. So it comes with, come with this, so two. Just a USB extension cord. How did that I get over there, by the way? That is wildly small, is what she said. How's my, my more, more pasta's over? Sorry, I'm making this so long pasta. I should have broken this into two. This just deserves its own. So you got a little USB extension, which I'm actually gonna probably, actually need a little USB thing to bring receivers down, because I wanna make a clear path. It should have Bluetooth built in. I hope it has Bluetooth built in. I didn't even ask that question. Because I mean, most laptops do. So there it is. This is the um, Lenovo Think Center. This is the future of computing. Oh, I guess I have to open this fucking. I can tell you right away the mouse and keyboard are abysmal. I guess I could sell these in the yard sale. I don't need another mouse and keyboard. Hold, pasta. Hold! Oh, it's cute. I mean, I don't love it. Takes a single triple A, single double A. There's where the uh, receiver goes. That's actually it's just on a magnet. Oh, it's being pulled off because it belongs in there. So if I need an extra wireless mouse, I have one. And the nice is it comes with three batteries. GP alkaline. Let's look at the keyboard at least. No security seal on this. I was literally expecting to wait another week for this. It was like, you're gonna, you'll get have it in seven days. And I'm like, so much for prime shipping. And not even my, my devices were like, oh, this will arrive today. This thing is heavier than the computer. I like Lenovo. I just, I do. It's a huge keyboard, my God. 
I guess for $450, you just buy this and you, as long as you have a monitor, your friends and son or whatever the fuck could have just a computer. Not terrible keys. They're not, they're not chiclets. They're a step above chiclet. But I won't be using this stuff, but I do have it now. Does this take a, what's it called? Or is this Bluetooth? I didn't notice. Nice, I like how you can't lose that drawer. It just has little, little sliders. Huh. It just says wireless, it doesn't say Bluetooth. It says keyboard and mouse combo. Oh, maybe you need to use that and this together. Like you can't just use this and this doesn't have a separate thing. Okay, okay, I get it, I follow. Look at that, they even individually wrapped. One battery is individually wrapped in plastic and this one's two. So I guess all of this shit, I should probably keep in case this thing doesn't boot. And then it's just like a fuck. It's just like a fuck. Well, anyway, that's, this is it. This is my solution now. So now I could take my slow as fuck laptop off of the back of this, because that's silver laptop there. And then this will be my computer. Oh God, my roast beef's done. All right, everybody, thank you for stopping by. Long ass fucking unboxings. 215 degrees. Oh, it smells so good. All right, um, you gotta do this. Give it a little pull. See if you're in the center. Nope, it's dropping 117 again. You pull it just a little bit. You always push it in a little bit too far and you pull it out until it, if it doesn't go up anymore, it means you're in the center now and you're done. Thank you.